Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel and today's tutorial is the matching dress for the baby blanket and pillow set. I am so proud of myself for this you guys. I, oh, I'm super excited. So I'm going to go over a little bit of details with you. We have a little flower attached right here and then we've got our blue skirt and we finished off with a little white edge around it. We got a little blue collar and on the back just got a, a little button sewn here to sh uh, close up the back. Now this is on my three to six month uh, mannequin and my mannequin can fit into perfectly into three to six month old uh, granimal clothes from Walmart. Uh, let me pause this and I'll grab them real quick. Okay, so this outfit fits perfectly on my mannequin, and uh, so I'm going to say this is going to best fit a three to six month baby. Okay, so a couple of things you're going to need. Let me get my camera set up. Okay, so you are going to need a five millimeter hook. Now, I do want to say on the dress, the skirt part... I kind of almost wished I would have tried a six millimeter just because I wanted it to be a little bit more flowy, but the five works great too. Pair of scissors. We're going to need a yarn needle. And we are also going to need a half inch button. I've already got, got it sewn onto the back of my uh, dress, but my the button was a little bitty one that's half an inch wide. You're going to need needle and thread to sew that button on and I used for the top of the dress I used pound of love in the color antique white and I just used a little bit of this skein I didn't need the entire thing but and for the skirt part of the dress I use the same that we use for the uh, for the matching blanket and pillow I use pound of love in the color turquoise now you definitely do not need a full skein I actually you have left over this much this is a uh, from the pillow and then I made my dress and then this is what I have left from one skein. So you're definitely not going to need an entire full skein. Okay. And that is it guys. So get your guys' stuff together and let's get started. I'm so excited. Okay. To get started with our baby dress. We're going to start with a chain of 55 using our antique white or whichever color you guys choose. So get your chain of 55 done and come back here. <clears throat> and what we're going to start with is a double crochet in the fourth chain from hook. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to work a double. And now all we're going to do is double crochet all the way down our chain. Nice and super simple. Okay. Go ahead and pause this. Get your double crochets done and then come back here and we're going to move on to row two. Stop crocheting. Stop crocheting. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have worked my double crochets across. So now you should have 52 double crochets and then a little chain three at the end. Or, well, I guess that's the beginning. Okay, so we're going to go on to row two, chain one, and turn. And we're going to double crochet into the first double crochet into the next 
and then we are going to increase into the next. So the increase is two double crochets into one stitch. So that is one and two. And now we're going to double crochet into the next three. One, two, and three. Give me some slack here. And then we increase into the next. Wait, did I do three? Yeah. And then increase into the next. So that's two doubles into one. And that's what I want you guys to repeat. Double crochet into the next three, increase into the next, which is two doubles in, into one. Double crochet into the next three, increase into the next. Double crochet in the next three, increase into the next. Repeat that all the way and I will meet you guys at the end. Okay, I'm coming to the end. I have an increase right here. One, two, three. And I have two double crochet and then a chain three left. So it's time to increase into the next. Double crochet into the next double. And then we're gonna double crochet into the top of the chain. So right now, what we see, I get a needle to use as my pointer, what we see is the back of the chain. So right here is a hump, our back hump of a chain, right? And then right here is one. And all we are going to do is work a double crochet right into that top chain. <laughs> That one was a little tight, but that's all right. Okay, so now what we should have is 66 double crochet. And you can tell, see how it's starting to rainbow? Okay, it's perfect. It's what we want. All right, we're going to chain one and turn. So for row three, super simple one, guys. Everybody say it with me. Super simple. We double crochet into each double crochet all the way across. See, I love it. Crocheting and designing makes me happy. It takes all of my stress away. Makes me happy. I've had a rough day, in case you can't tell <laughs> from me saying that. And sitting here and crocheting on camera. And, you know, essentially I'm talking to myself, but I pretend that you're listening to me and what you would say, you know, to what I'm saying, which is kind of creepy when you think about it. <laughs> okay. I'm yapping to myself. Anyhow, go ahead and double crochet into each double. We should still have 66 by the end of row three. So double crochet across and I'll meet you guys at the end. Okay, I finished row three and I double crocheted into my last double. Now I'm going to chain one and turn. In row four, we're going to double crochet into our first double. Double crochet into our next double. And then we're going to increase into our next. And then double crochet into the next three. I split that. There we go. One, two, and three. And then we increase into the next. So if you guys can notice, we're pretty much repeating row two. Okay, so double crochet into the next three. One, two and three and then increase into the next 
So double crochet into the next three, increase into the next, double crochet into the next three, increase into the next. So repeat that, repeat that all the way to the end and I'll meet you guys there. Okay, I'm coming to the end of row four. I just worked an increase and I have three double crochet left and each of those get one double. Now you should have 82 double crochets and into the next. Okay, so now go back to my notes. We are going to chain one and turn and now we're going to repeat row three just a one double crochet into each double all the way around or well it should be across but you know what i mean don't forget to work your double into your very first one of your row i went a little fast through that i didn't even show you honestly <laughs> how about we just do that how about that i don't want anybody to miss that okay so there's my first double right there i'm going to double into that and then continue across okay so go ahead and finish this row and i will meet you guys at the end and we should still have 82 doubles and this is what it should be looking like. So this is gonna be the back of our dress and this is gonna be the front, all right? So go ahead and finish this row five and I'll meet you guys down here at the end. All right, coming to the end of round five, I have one more that I need to work into and if I rotate my work just a tad, I can see it laying there. Work into that. Okay, there's the end of round five, and we are going to move on to round six. I lost my notes. Okay, so for row six, we chain one and we turn, double crochet into the first, and split that again. There we go. And now we double crochet into the next, and then we increase, which is two doubles into one. Okay, get my work flipped. Now we double crochet into the next, and double crochet into the next, and then we increase into the next. So this one, this row is similar to our other increase rows, except we are working a double crochet into the next two and then increasing. So instead of having three, it's two and then increase. So that's what we're going to repeat for round. I keep saying round. I'm sorry. It's row six. It will eventually go to rounds, but we'll get to that later. So what we're going to do is we're gonna increase, like right here we just did, work your increase, double crochet in two, increase into the next, double crochet in two, and the next two, increase, double crochet in the next two, increase, double crochet in the next two, all of that, repeat that around, do, 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 and I will meet you guys at the end. Okay, I am coming to the end and I worked an increase, double, double. I have two double crochets left. So the second to last gets an increase. Oops, I missed that, sorry. One and two, and the last one gets a double. And that is the end of two, four, six. All right, so now we move on to row seven. We chain one and turn. 
And row seven is a double crochet in each double all the way across. So we go right back into that very first one with a double. And then we just double crochet along. So go ahead and repeat, or I mean repeat, go ahead and double crochet into each stitch, each double, all the way across. And I will meet you guys at the end. And we will move on to row eight. We're almost ready to start the skirt part of our dress. Just about. First, we got a few things to do. So. Get your row six done and then come back. Or I'm sorry, row seven. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I finished. Was that seven? Two, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> I double crocheted into the last double. You're gonna chain one and turn. Oh no, my thing fell. Ugh. Pause this. Okay, like I was saying, finished row seven. We should still have 109 double crochet. We are going to go on to row eight. We chain one and turn. In row eight, we are going to repeat row six. So we are going to double into the first, double into the second, and increase into the next. And our increase is to double crochet in one double. Okay, so now we double crochet into the next two. One and two. And we increase into the next. Double into the next two. And increase into the next. And that's what we're going to repeat all the way across for row eight. Okay, so double, double into the next, double into the next, increase, double into the next, double into the next, increase, double and next, double and next, increase. Repeat that all the way around. And I will meet you here. And after that, we have one row to work, which we are going to uh, which is row nine, and we are going to make our little armholes, and then row 10 and on is the skirt of our dress. Yay! Okay, so get row eight done and come right back. Okay, I am coming to the end of row eight. And I've worked my increase, a double in the next, a double in the next and I have two left so my second to last gets a increase one and oops two and my last double gets a double and that is the end of row eight I need to get rid of my mint real quick okay so we are going to go on with row nine in row nine, we chain one, turn, and we double crochet into the first 23, there it is, the first 23 double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> okay, do your 23 and come back. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> okay, I've single crocheted into the first 23. And now we are going to count 26. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Now I'm just going to take a stitch marker and I'm going to mark that. Just because I don't want to lose it. Okay. So there's our 26. Now we're going to double crochet right into the very next one. Well, I know what you're thinking. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to do exactly what that just did. We're going to fold this in half. We're going to come over and we don't want to work into our 26th. We want to work into the next, which would be the 27th, right? So we're going to double crochet right into that next one. Okay. So now we're going to double crochet into the next 46. So by the time we're done, we should have a total of 47 because we've got our first one right here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So go ahead and work your 47 and I will meet you guys there. Okay, I'm back and I've worked into, or I mean, I've worked my 47 double crochet. And now we are going to skip 26 again. So I'm going to go ahead and get this little stitch marker. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So I'm just going to mark that 26th one. Alright, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I'm just going to mark that 26th one. Alright, and now into the very next. I'm going to start my double crochets. So I'm just going to pinch this right in half and double crochet right into that very next one. And now I'm just going to double crochet to the end. So as I was working the 47 double crochet, I got to thinking, I don't remember if I told you guys how many stitches you should have at the end of round eight. And if I didn't, you should have 145. I'm sorry if I didn't say that. I, di I don't remember if I said it or not. But we are going to finish these double crochets and I will meet you guys at the end. So I'm going to pause this and I'll be right back. Okay, I have one more to work into and that is my 22nd double crochet after our second armhole. So we should have 22 doubles, skip 26. 47, boop, 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 skip 26, 22. And there is our armholes. So here's where the arms go, and this is where the dress is going to be. Okay, so that is the end of row, what was that, nine? Yes. All right. So I'll be right back. Okay, so let's move on with row 10, which we are going to turn into a bleh. We are going to turn into a round. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So, instead of chaining one and turning, we are going to slip stitch to our first double right here. Okay? And we're going to chain one. Now, for this very first we are going to do a double crochet decrease. And the reason why is because right now we have, hold this like this, 47, 22, and 22. And that equals 91. Well, that's one stitch too many, so we need to get rid of one to get us down to 90. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two. Two loops left. Now we're going to yarn over, go into the next double, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We have three loops. 
and we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. And that's a double crochet decrease and the only time in the rest of the pattern we're gonna do it. <laughs> so now all we're gonna do is double crochet into each double all the way around. I am going to, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna double crochet all the way till right here. And I'm gonna meet you guys at that connect right there. Okay, I'm coming up to this little connector right here. And I'm just gonna show you guys, all we're gonna do is work straight across it. We're not gonna do anything fancy right into the double, right into the next. Easy peasy. Okay. <clears throat> all right, so all we're gonna do to finish round 10 is double crochet all the way around. Go right into your two doubles just like you did before, or like we just did, all the way around. And we will. I will meet you guys back right here at the end. Okay, I'm coming to the end of round 10. A few more doubles to work. Okay, so there's my last double. There's my chain one. So we are going to double into that last double. I'm sorry, that's not my chain one, that's my slip stitch. There's my chain one. And there's my first double. So we are going to slip stitch into that first double, chain one, pull up a loop, a long one so we can weave it in, and cut. All right, so we can take our stitch marker out. Okay, so here's the back of our dress. And here's the front of our dress. So now what we are going to do is we are going to grab our turquoise yarn, which of course I just lost the end of. Oh no, where did it go? Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. So I am going to get a slip knot on my hook. All right, and I'm going to go right into that exact same stitch I slip stitched into and finished off the white end. Get you out of the way. I'm going to yarn over, pull through, pull through, and there's a slip stitch. And I'm going to chain one. And now what I'm going to do Okay. We are going to single crochet right back into there. Skip two and we're going to work our double crochet shell into the next and our shell is five doubles. There's 3 4 and five, skip two, single into the next. Skip two, shell into the next, which is our five, two, three, <clears throat> three, four, and five. Skip two, single into the next. So go ahead and repeat that all the way around and I'll meet you guys. Whoa, it's not focused on me. I'll meet you guys at the end. Okay, I'm coming around. I've worked my shell. I'm going to skip two, single crochet into the next. And then I'm gonna go straight across and slip stitch to my very first single. And then we're gonna chain one and move on to round two of our skirt and we're going to turn. Okay. And now what we're going to do into that very first single right there, we're going to work three doubles. One, two, and three. 
skip two, single crochet into the next. Skip two, shell into the next, which is our single crochet. Two, three, four, and five. Skip two, single into the next, skip two, and shell into the next, which is our single. So go ahead and repeat that around. Two, three, four, and five. So repeat, skip two, single, skip two, shell. So each shell is always gonna be in a single crochet. And we skip two and single, and our single is always gonna be into the third double crochet of our shell. Repeat that around, and I will meet you guys at the end. Okay, guys, I'm coming around to the end of round two of our skirt of our dress. And would you guys believe me if I told you I messed up so I could show you how to fix it? Like I did it on purpose. <laughs> Dang it. I only have four instead of five right in the shell. So I'm going to pretend I'm skipping two and single crochet. Skip two. And I'm going to go right to that first double slip stitch, chain one, and turn. <laughs> I was so aggravated when I saw that. I was like, oh well, I'll just show them how to fix it. <laughs> okay, so we slip stitched into our first um, double, chain one, and turn. Okay, so we chained one and turned, oops, and right into that very next single, we're gonna work our three double crochet shell. You know, like the beginning three doubles. And this is the row we're gonna repeat for the entire skirt of the dress. So there's our three, skip two, single, skip two, right into that single, we work our shell, which is the five doubles. And that's all we would repeat all the way around. Let's see, four and five, right? Nope, that's four. <laughs> skip two, single into the next. Skip two, we're to our single. And our single gets our five double crochet shell. Two, three, four, and five. All right, so repeat that all the way around and I will meet you guys back at the beginning. Okay guys, I've come around. I've worked my last shell right here. Now right here I'm going to just skip one and work a single crochet and then we're going to slip stitch to our first, chain one, turn, and then we're going to work our three double crochet shell into that single crochet right there. One, two, and three. Skip two, single, skip two, and work our shell. Now we should have and continue to have throughout the skirt of our dress 15 shells, including that little three uh, double crochet shell at the beginning. Let's see if it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we have one, two, and then we will have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're back to the beginning. All right. <clears throat> So we're going to repeat this row again, work it all the way around just like normal, get back over here, we're going to shell into that last single, and then we're just going to skip one instead of skipping two. Just skip that one, single crochet there, slip stitch to our beginning, chain one, and then we turn and start it all over. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat this row with you guys one more time. I'm going to work it around and I will meet you at the end. Okay, I'm coming back around. I'm to my last 
uh, it's just a little three double crochet shell right here. I'm just, instead of skipping two, we're just going to skip one and we're going to work a little single right here. I'm going to jump across, slip stitch to our first double, chain one and turn. And then right into that single right there, we're going to start with our three double crochet shell. And then, oops, sorry about that. And repeat that row again and repeat and repeat and repeat. Skip two. Well, I worked my three doubles. Skip two, single. Skip two and shell. Two, three, four, and five. Right? One, two, three, four. Yep. Okay. Skip two, single. All right, we're going to repeat that all the way around again, and then we're just going to repeat that row for the length of our skirt. Now, you guys can go as long as you'd like. I am going to work mine, and uh, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to let you guys know how many rows I work, but you're more than welcome to go as long as you'd like to go. I would, I do want to say, um, yeah, as you're working this, the, you know, when you flip, the inside will tend to want to kind of come out, so to keep yourself from getting confused, maybe... Maybe just like run this tail right here. Just run it through there. It'd be easier if you had a needle. Just run it through there and maybe like just tie it so it kind of stays together. So that way it doesn't get flipped, you know, and you get confused or anything. Just tie it. Don't do it too tight. But yeah, just, you know, because it tends to want to flip out like that. And I was getting confused. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Okay, so go ahead and repeat that row and repeat and repeat and repeat for the length of your skirt. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you guys how long I've worked my skirt. Okay, so I've worked my pattern and I've worked it till I'm just finishing the 18th row. And at this point, it should be measuring from white, right where the blue and the white start. About seven inches. So I am going to go ahead and fasten off this blue. I've worked my shell and at the end, instead of skipping two, we only skip one. So single crochet into the next and I'm going to slip stitch to our first double. I'm going to chain one, pull up a loop so I got enough to weave in an end and cut. Okay, so now I'm going to pull that out. I am going to work row 19 in the white. Okay, so I've got a slip knot in my white. And I'm just going to insert my hook into that same double that we just slip stitched to. Get my white on there. Pull through, chain one, and then I'm going to turn. <clears throat> Okay, so we just go ahead and continue with the white, just like always. We slip stitch and we chain one and turn. Now we're going to work our three double crochets into that next single. Two and three. Now we skip two, single into the next, skip two, and shell into the single. So repeat that around just like we have been. four and five. Skip two, single in the next, skip two and shell. All right, I will meet you guys at the end of round 19. Four, or that was three, four and five. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I made it around. I worked my last shell, skip one instead of two this time. We only skip one. Single crochet into the last and slip stitch to our first. Chain one and that is it. So I'm gonna cut this. All right, I'm gonna weave these. <clears throat> 
Sorry, guys. <clears throat> I cannot get rid of that feeling. All right, I'm going to weave these ends in off camera, and I'll be right back. All righty, guys. I've got all my ends weaved in. I went ahead and weaved in my end up here because we are going to work a little blue collar around the top. Now, I want to tell you guys something. I'm not 100% sure I like this. This as in this little collar we're getting ready to work on. I don't know if I like it yet. I haven't decided because I'm almost afraid it's going to be one of those deals or one of those, um, yeah, one of those deals where less is more. And um, <clears throat> I don't know. I haven't decided if I like it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys and let you guys decide for yourselves if you want to uh, have this on your dresses or not. So what we are going to do is get a slip knot on our, our in our blue and I'm going to go right. So here's look right here. Here's our last stitch. I'm going to go right into this corner, right into the corner of that, the back of our dress. And I, like, I've got my dress laid out in front of me, right? And the back is up. This is my left side, and that's the side I'm starting on. That way, <clears throat> that way, all of my single crochets are going to be facing out, and, you know, you won't see the back of the single crochets. All right, so get this slip knot on our hook. Pull that a little bit. Pull through, chain one. I'm going to go right back in there with a single. Okay, and now if you look, see each of our doubles right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. We are going to work a single crochet at the bottom of each of those double crochets because these doubles are upside down, right? See, so that's how they're, that's our, nor that's our normal double, but they're upside down now that the dress is done. So we're going to be single crocheting into the bottom. All right, so see the double right there? We're going to go right into the bottom of it. There. Can you see where my finger is? Where the bottom is? So basically what we're doing is working into the remaining loops from our beginning chain. wanting to focus in on everything but I want to make sure you guys see this all right so we're gonna single crochet right into there so we're gonna put our hook right in there and work a single into the next there's the bottom the bottom of that double we're gonna go right in there right in there right in there and single crochet all the way around so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys do this off camera, or I'm going to do it off camera. <laughs> so come back here when you guys are done. <clears throat> I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm worried it's going to be too much blue, I guess I should, I should say, but we'll see. Maybe once I get it done, I'll like it. I don't know. All right. I'm going to get this done off camera and I'll be right back. Okay. I've come around. I worked into the bottom of the last double. I don't think I'm going to add another one. I think that's because what I have right here is my chain. Well, let's see. I'll just add one and see. Get in there. Single. Yeah, that'll be all right. Okay, so work one into the top of that chain at the end. Chain one. And we cut. <clears throat> and there we go there is our little collar so I'm gonna weave in those ends now I want to show you guys something I did a little a little bit of working ahead and I am kind of liking the collar now because this is pretty much what it's gonna look like and I'm gonna add a little flower pull this out for you guys that is going to be our dress. I, 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 I know at the beginning I had mentioned something about sleeves, but I'm kind of liking it the way it is. I think it looks adorable. 
because I'm afraid if I do add more, then it is going to turn into, you know, less is more kind of a deal. So I'm going to get my ends weaved in. And when we come back, we are going to work on this little flower. And then we're going to add just a tiny little button back here to button it shut. And then we are done. I'm so super excited. All right. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I've got my ends weaved in on my dress, and now we are going to make this little flower. So to get started, we're going to get our white, still using our 5 millimeter. It's slip knot on my hook. And we are going to chain 5. One, two, three, four, and five. Slip stitch to our first chain to form a ring. Now, right now, I'm kind of wiggling these chains around so I can see the inside of that ring. Slip stitch to the uh, last chain and chain one. All right. Now, we're going to work 10 single crochet into the ring and make sure you work over your tail. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got a little bit of that tail in there. That's all right. I did it again. There. That was seven, right? <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now pull your tail a little bit, but don't pull it closed because we want a nice ring in there. So I'm going to slip stitch to our first, chain one, and pull up a loop, cut, and pull that tight. Now we're just going to let these set to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so now we are going to grab our blue, get a slip knot. And I'm going to insert right into that same stitch that we, or single crochet we slip stitch to. Right in there. Not on our hook. Pull that through. Chain two. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to work two trebles, chain two two trebles back into this single crochet that we just uh, attached our blue to. So we're going to yarn over twice, go in, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. There's one. <clears throat> two, chain two. One. and two. So there's two treble, chain two, two treble. So now we are going to chain three and slip stitch into the next um, single crochet. So we're chain one, two, and three. And we're gonna come down here to our next single and just slip stitch. And we're gonna chain three one, two, and three. And now in the next stitch, we're going to work the two treble, um, chain two, two treble. I got a big old knot in my yarn. All right, so we yarn over twice, go into that next single, work one, two, 
treble, chain two, scooch that over, two treble, one, and two. All right. Oh, whoa. I don't know what's happening. I'll be right back. That was so weird. It was like a power surge or something. Anyway, <laughs> so we just finished our two trebles. So now we're going to chain two, three. I'm sorry, three. Come down to our next and slip stitch. Chain three. And to our next, we're going to work the two treble, chain two. Chain two, scooch that all over, and two treble. One, oops, split that. And two. Chain three, come down to our next single, and slip stitch. So go ahead and repeat this with the next uh, few well, no, don't repeat it. I'll be right back. I've got to check on some things since that power surge. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what the heck happened, but it's still kind of flickering a little bit. Okay, so we just slip stitch. Now we need to come back up. So we're going to chain three. And then in the next single, we're going to work our two treble, chain two, two treble. So one... Two, oops a daisies, chain two, scooch all that over, and two trebles, one, two, all right, so we got to work our way down to slip stitch, so we chain three, we bring this down, and slip stitch we need to come back up so we're going to chain three and in the next single crochet two trebles one i'm doing really good with my trebles i'm a little shocked two chain two oh dang it scooch that over and two well get my white yarn out of the way two trebles one and two now we need to come down so we're going to chain three come down to our last petal slip stitch we need to come up so we chain three and we're going to slip stitch into our very first treble Chain one, and that's it. Pull up a loop, and we cut. And there we go. So now I'm going to weave in my ends, but I'm not going to weave in the blue. I'm going to leave the blue out, and we're going to use that to attach to the dress. So go ahead and weave in your white, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my white weaved in. Now I need to bring this blue that we finished with down to the middle, just like our first blue is. Because all I'm going to do is run these tails through the dress and tie it on. Because, I mean, as a baby dress, I don't necessarily want to use any other way. What I'm trying to say is I don't want to, like, glue it on there or anything like that. Just because I don't want, you know, somebody to have a bad reaction to it. So I'm going to get my dress and I'm going to take my crochet hook. I'm going to go inside first up first, you know, let me back my camera off. Get my first one out of the way. First, what I'm going to do is make sure I like where it's sitting. Okay. I like that. So I'm going to go in with my hand and my hook. 
and I'm just holding where I like and right where that white is I'm gonna bring my hook out and I'm gonna grab one strand of my yarn and pull it through now I'm gonna come right back up there and I'm gonna come out next to where my first one went in grab my other strand and just pull that through hold that down so I don't lose it take my two strands here and I'm just gonna tie a knot triple tie it quadruple tie it whatever you guys need to <laughs> That's so cute all right, so I am going to go ahead and flip this inside out. And I'm going to weave in these ends. I'm trying to do both of them at once. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Nothing special with this part, just weaving them in so they're not hanging around inside the dress, tickling the tickling her <laughs> or he whatever you guys want to put it on I don't judge all right snip okay oh <laughs> it's so cute okay so now we are going to sew a little button on now I'm not gonna do anything special back here for this button it's basic and I've lost the button <sighs> basically it's just sewing the button on so the top stays shut and I realize the um, the shell stitch has kind of in a sense warped the back right here which to me is not a big deal I mean we're laying it over anyway so it's gonna lay like that but I'm okay with that so I am actually going to get my thread. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my needle and thread here. Nothing fancy, just 100% uh, polyester. And I'm going to pull out a long piece. Probably about uh, two feet. Which, I mean, I know this is going to be too much. <laughs> I just, I can't help but do my, my projects with the mindset of I've re I'd rather have too much than not enough. I always do that. I understand, yeah, I do waste some, but I can't help it. Okay, so I'm just going to thread this needle. Bring it around to where both ends are together. And I'm just going to start tying a knot here. In the end of my the two pieces together. So just tying a knot. And I'm just going to keep tying the knot so that the knot lands on top of the other knot. The first knot I made. So it's a big bunch of knots. Well... I missed it right there <laughs> all right I'm gonna get this tied off camera I'll be right back okay I have got my knot together at the end of my thread and I've got this little button I haven't the slightest clue what size this button is it's a little button that's all I can tell you about a half inch okay you guys can use whatever size button you need, you want. I mean, just be aware that the reason I chose a smaller size button is so I can just pop it through these stitches. All right. So, like, what I mean was like this. So I can just, you know, pop it through those stitches. That was so cool, the way it landed on my finger. Okay, so I'm just going to take my button. I'm going to set it right underneath that blue and then close to the edge. You see that? And I am not a professional button sewer on her, so don't judge me. But I'm going into that bottom hole right here. All right. 
Now I'm going to come straight across and go into this one, making sure I'm going through yarn fibers, not a hole. Okay, so now I'm going to go into a button I, or a hole I haven't gone into. Again, going through fibers, not just holes. And then across from that one. And that's all I'm going to repeat, just over and over and over, going in and out, in and out, in and out. And I just pulled that out. Dang it. I can fix it. It's all right. So just keep over and over and over. I'm focused <laughs> and my belly growled. <laughs> All right, I am going to go ahead and finish this off camera. Ow, I just stabbed myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I can't film a video these last few vi videos I've done to save my life. Oh my gosh. Dang it, that hurt. <laughs> I can't believe I stabbed myself on camera. Okay, I'm really going to go now. And I'm going to finish this off camera. And I'm going to fix what I messed up. I will be back. Okay, I have got this sewn on. So I'm going to cut a long tail. Really? I think my scissors need to be sharpened or replaced. Now all I'm going to do is just sew this, or I mean, um, knot this just like, you know, you would your yarn. Nice tight knot. And then I'm just, I'm going to cut it. Now I have a couple of strands hanging around because I accidentally messed up. That's okay. No biggie. All right, get that out of the way. And now I'm just going to run my button through a hole between my stitches there we go ta-da and there's our dress guys i am loving this and i'm proud honestly i would lie to you that's not our dress we're gonna do something else i am going to get a strand of this blue weave it onto my yarn needle and I am actually going to reinforce this flower down. But I'm only going to go into the blue. I'm not going to weave white through the blue, right? I'm only going to weave through this blue. And I'm going right into the top of the trebles. Just in and out. And I'm not pulling that tight. I'm going to jump over to this one this petal go into the top of what is, is that the treble just to reinforce that to stay down because I noticed it was coming up whenever I turned the dress go into this treble I'm gonna come in here And then I'm going to come out and go into this petal, treble of this petal, come out, go back into the next, there. Now it shouldn't be so floppy. All right, now I'm going to go right back in here. And I'm going to run this first one through some stitches just so I can tie it in a knot. So I'm just going to come through here, come through here. This is all hidden under our flower. But I'm still being cautious not to pull too tight. Coming through here, 
All right, so I'm got these two together, so I'm going to go ahead and tie this in a knot. Again, don't pull too tight because it's going to distort our dress. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and weave in my ends. Get my two tails the same length. Run those ah. okay, that's better. Okay, guys, that is our dress. I'm so excited. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Thank you guys so very, very, very much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching my videos. You guys are the best. And uh, also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, so you don't miss any of my uploads. And then hit that bell, and then it's going to give you a dialog box, and then it's going to ask you, you know, all, some, or whatnot. I don't remember exactly, but click all, so you get all my notifications. And uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think? Do you guys like what I've left it at? Because I didn't want to go too, you know, too much. I like simplicity with a touch of flair. Like if I had something yellow to put in there, that would be adorable to me. Anyhow, leave me a comment. And let me know what you guys think. I love reading your comments. Although I, I am the first to admit I am slow at replying to comments, but I do see them. <laughs> And uh, last but not least, check out my description box. I've got links to my Facebook group, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Etsy shop, and, I, and also my other channel where I have um, a cooking channel where we just, we have fun and I show you guys some really cheap and easy recipes, nothing too fancy. Occasionally I get a little fancy, like fried chicken. That was, that's probably the most hard thing I've, I do. I don't like cooking fried chicken. It gets annoying. <laughs> anywhere, anyway. I hope you guys had fun, and uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!